Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Raihan Rahman. I am originally from Bangladesh. So my name, Raihan, is actually it means fragrance of heavenly fruits and flowers. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Thanks. Nice. Yeah. Well, that's what I hope we gain from this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like it. So, right, uh, each chart, what I'm going to show within this next uh, 15 or 55, 50 minutes, a teacher making games without technically zero programming or coding knowledge. Can you make games? That's the question. Oh, the answer is of course yes, that's why I'm here. That, and then I'm gonna like show you how, and, and then when I say like games, it should be language-based games because we are mostly language teachers, right? What can we do with it? Um, how, have you like made any games or tried to make any games? Any like, I don't know, like board games or anything? Right, yeah, you did, right? So, uh, okay, that's what we are gonna attend today. So a brief introduction about me. I'm currently a graduate student at the University of Indiana Urbana Champaign, master's in teaching English as a second language student. Um, I'm doing some research in English language testing, especially placement tests. Um, yep. So there's some background why I'm doing what I'm doing right now. Language learning has long embarrassed the use of games. Uh, as an effective tools and then there's a, like a shortage of teachers <coughs> can actually make games we mostly use Kahoot right for engagement or Mentimeter or Foley for making polls uh, but to make actually game like game we need some extra knowledge you know or at least we feel like we need to be programmers so that's what I felt uh, when working on this so I'm gonna skip the lecture because we actually have things to show more. Uh, so this is the content I'm going to share today. This is called Construct3. It's a website. Is it free? Technically, yes. You can actually make a full-fledged game, playable game, without any cost. You can publish it, you can share with people. Uh, so this is the official website. It would be better if you had actually a laptop to test it out right now, but feel free, like no pressure, like feel comfortable, all right? Yeah. So what is, a, what is Construct3? What is this website about? So it's a web-based game development platform. So instead of coding, you kind of drag and drop the ideas. Mm -hmm. For example, if you look at the page that I shared, the handout that I shared, on the back of the page, there's an activity. Like there's a monster and there's an apple, right? So maybe you should think a way that how can you uh, take that monster to the apple? Like what are the steps? How can it go there? So that's your thinking of logic, yeah. Um, did you want to share? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So any ideas anyone wants to share like how can you take the monster to the apple what are the minimal steps required like verbally yeah, go up and yeah yeah go exactly <laughs> go up and then go probably two right, steps right, uh i guess right yeah one step right, right yeah mm -hmm. so that's how you sequence a game right um so yeah before i showcase how to develop a game why Construct3? What are the main reasons for a teacher to use this? Well, of course, the engagement, the appeal of designing a game, and then playing it yourself. I personally never thought of developing a game, you know, with almost zero minimal programming language. So when I first did it, I was like, wow, I made a game, so cool, you know? So you'll have that aha moment, wow, I made it, you know? So, yeah. Then the support. It has superb support there. They have like a lot of lesson plans created by other teachers. They have live forums, almost like Reddit. You can ask questions, you'll get all the support. There are a lot of YouTube tutorials, videos made on it. So you'll not feel like left behind. Uh, and then they custom made lesson plans and tutorials to teach students the basics of development. So they have their own set of lesson plans, curriculum for teachers. And a lot of teachers in some schools and uh, universities use this website to teach even programming language 
or even other programs. Or you can, you can have your students to make games inside the classroom. That's even better. I mean, you can make them do the work for you, right? So, all right. So yeah, as I said, like, is it free? Technically, yes, for the beginners. You can do up to 50 events. Now, what's that? It's a very uh, confusing term, up to 50 events. So you'll get that. For example, uh, you just shared that the monster has to go up and then go to right, right? So this is, let's say, one event. And then you can like do some more uh, complex sequencing, and then you can have uh, up to 50 events. But to be honest, you can do 20 logic, and you can have a, like a full-fledged game. Anyway, uh, this will not click. Well, only it will click when I show it to you. OK. Um, this is the site that I'll be using. And it, this site has the, all the contents materials for this presentation. Even if you, let's say, cannot follow what I say, because that's what happened to me uh, when I first was introduced to Construct3, because the learning curve could, be, could feel like something like this. You know, sometimes <laughs> you'll feel like, uh-oh, I'm not, not following. <laughs> Don't worry. I was the same. So I suggest you take this link and explore it, ask me questions later on. But ideally, you need a laptop to actually do it. So first, before we do the showcase, let's, ex let's see some games, you know, how it looks like in real life. This is the game that was developed by me, initially in Construct 3, but then later on, I used ChatGPT to uh, do the code programming for me. I did the logic, but used ChatGPT to do the programming for me, and then I created, actually, a game. And so this is called Warsky. generated by DALE, the ChatGPT's AI uh, image generator, so I didn't do it again. <laughs> so yeah, I'm give, giving you the shortcuts, how to do it fast. <laughs> and you don't have any copyright issues, by the way. So you can see, I'm gonna type my name here, um, and then it will start the main game. In the main game, as you can see, there's a score, there's a timer, so within 10 seconds, you have to match the synonymous words. If they match, it will go boom. <laughs> Look. See? It's boom. <laughs> okay, that, that was a very fun to make that boom. <laughs> 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 and if you guys want to play this game right now, like after this session, feel free to come to my desk. I actually have that in my computer. You can download it yourself as well. Uh, not sure if you can then run it, so that I doubt. But if you want to play that game, this game, you can come here. Okay. So that was made by me, uh, with the minimal knowledge. Now, these are some other examples from other, probably their teachers, students, they made the games on construction, no other programming. So this one is called... I know, yes? <laughs> Mugen or Mugen brand, I don't know. But let's start, all right? We have like the children of this book most. So I have to choose sequentially. So it would be probably most of the children like this book. I'm, I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah, 
like wrong answers. <laughs> yeah, then, then it'll fail. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just fail. Yeah. 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 So once I make the game, how do I share this to them? And how can they play on the right. first theme? Yeah, so we are gonna do both of them on Construct 3 website. We're gonna make the game, publish the game on the same website, and it will be a link that like a YouTube link and you can just share it. And by the way, your students can do, this, do uh, make games as well inside the class. Maybe like a grammar game. What's the age hunt. like appropriateness? Like, Children do it like- No, like, I know, I mean, they're, they're pretty- From like very early childhood to like adults. I saw oh, a lot wow. of samples okay. from them. Oh, okay. So yeah, so this is another example. Yeah, this is kind of funny. Um, all right, let's see. <laughs> Based games, you can you can see and you can you, you can get some inspiration from that. This is a synonym-based game. Uh, let's see how it looks like. So probably it's like a, a matching game, you know, like drag and drop. So hmm, I don't know. Was there? So yeah, help me out. Brain Chomp munch. Chomp munch. Yeah. Oh yeah, good. And uh, so 
So this answers your question, like how do you share the link? So this is the, for example, this one. If you publish a game, this will be the web page. And uh, I don't know, the screen is doesn't, it's not that clear, unfortunately. Yeah, very, yeah, very low resolution. Uh, kind of here's the high tech thing I'm showcasing, but yeah. Uh, so this is the place where you have this share button and you just copy the link, same as like sharing a YouTube link. And do you, are you able to get like the data from like, like does it tie to like a student's name and you get the data how many wrong they got or how many correct they got? Do you know? But you have to do it, you have to incorporate that uh, logic as well. Oh, so, okay. so the games I'm showing probably they didn't go that far. Okay. Yeah, but you can do it, you that's possible, yeah. Like, okay. that's awesome. I have two elements. Yes. When I transferred my Construct Free game to make it as uh, you just said, you know, I want the leaderboard. Mm -hmm. For example, the game I was showing uh, here. So yeah. So after the game over stream, it will show you the scoreboard. Yeah. For example, I got I I, I stood second. I don't know who's G, but probably some top G or something. <laughs> anyway, uh, so I stood second here, and you can see the list of your students' names with their okay. score. Okay. That's how you do it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, uh, so for more complex programming, there's no limit. Actually, I wanted to use this presentation just to inspire the teachers that actually this is the right time to make games, mm -hmm. right time to do tech, uh, anything that is tech-based. Construct 3 is the stepping stone. It's not the end, but the stepping stone. If you can do something here, you'll get automatically inspired. And then there are like chatbots right now, AI, chatbots, ChatGPT, Bard, B. They will help you to make more logics, more complex coding mechanism. You don't have to do it. But it starts with the stepping stone, the guided process. And Construct, Construct 3 will give you the guidance. Okay, now let me uh, start the showcase maybe. So, let's create our first game together. Maybe uh, if you wanna use your laptop, you can do it, but feel free to uh, just follow what I do here, um, okay? So all games starts with an idea. I'm gonna teach my students a grammar, or I'm gonna teach my students a verb, or noun, or sequence, like we saw, right? Or just alphabets. And then the idea is broken down into smaller parts through something we call decomposition. Just making one complex event into smaller events. Like for example, how do I touch this cup? Well, I hold, I touch it, I hold it, and I pull it up. Probably like three things happening here. Something like that. And each part is planned before creating the code. Uh, by the way, we're not coding here, but that's how it works in real life. So uh, 